working on some catechisms, jumping back into those because I don't have any ideas right now for comics. Um, and I want to kind of get those catechisms out of the way too. But right now, through tomorrow night, you'll be able to get this shirt uh, from the Reftunes store, reftunes.myshopify.com. And um, it's available through tomorrow. So uh, if you go Saturday morning and try and find it, it won't be there. Sorry. Um, this was like a special. Did you say tomorrow, tomorrow is not Saturday? No, it's, it just... it's through tomorrow. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. So it was just a kind of a special Star Wars day. Uh, thing so we extended it throughout the week so after tomorrow these shirts will no longer be available there's also some prints available as well um, so check those out at the reftunes.myshopify.com and so like I said I'm gonna be working on the <clears throat> catechism questions don't have them opened yet but we'll We'll find them here. Clients, Reftunes. Um, so these catechism questions have been just kind of dragging and dragging just because a lot of them I get confused on. And I don't really know what to um what to do for them <laughs> all right we've got uh the sarcastic theologian talking to us today a reformed guy <laughs> with no beard shocked face i kid i kid <laughs> that's right no beard you don't want to see you don't want to see the beard that comes on this face <laughs> Let's open up this one and see what this one's all about. It probably wouldn't be too bad with your beard, like, you know, once it grows out long enough to cover, like, the patchy spots. <laughs> the patchy spots. <laughs> Whatever. The uh, bald spots. Uh, mm. But, ugh. <clears throat> A beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it would probably some be. people can pull it off, some people can't. I'm one that can't. Well, you, I don't so. think you've ever made it long enough. You had it kind of long once. I mean, to where it started to feel just a little bit soft. Yeah, I did. I tried. I tried that. It didn't go over too well. Mm. I decided I didn't, didn't like it. So. <laughs> hey, you, Brian. Hey, Brian. What is this? Ten Commandments and Lightning on a Mountain? Yep. What did God at first reveal to man for the rule of his obedience? Is that kind of an oddly phrased question? Oh, thank They're you. all oddly phrased. Thank yeah. you, Brian. He says, Happy Early Mother's Day, Steph. <laughs> Did you feel like that was odd to read? Kind of? Yeah, like, there. I think a lot of these are odd to read, I think. They, uh, they need some updating. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the guy to do that. I'm just going to draw the pictures. What is required in the Eighth Commandment? The Eighth Commandment requires the lawful procuring and furthering the wealth and outward estate of ourselves and others. Procuring. Procuring. Hmm. So, making business transactions that are not shady, maybe. Am I on the wrong side? Are you on the wrong side? I can't mean? read your comments from here. Hmm? Is that going to be too hard for you? No, that's all right. Just, just point at it and I'll look over. Okay. Sarcastic Theologian says, I just stopped in to say that I really appreciate the content you're generating. Makes helping people engage with basic biblical concepts a lot easier. Well, thank you for that. I'm glad glad it's been helpful for you. You know, that is totally true because I tried reading 
What did I try to read? Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. <laughs> and that, like, just two pages in. I don't know, it must have took me half an hour just for, like, three paragraphs. I had to Figure keep rereading and rereading. But then the second that you were reading it out loud, it was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So, like, I feel like what you do with your art, you kind of present something in a different format that allows people to say, oh, that's what it means. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that I, I do. I think that is kind of cool. That you can understand the things like that. Mm. <laughs> well, and put a simpler, um, whatever to it, spin on it. Brian says, I tried preaching it at the homeless ministry and couldn't finish it. Oh, no. Uh, sinners in the hands of an angry gun. Probably. Oh, man. That would be something, like, it would be cool to find something where someone breaks it down for you, like, goes through it, and then talks about it, goes through it, talks about it, like, I don't know. I think there was just so much mulling that I had to do, and I was reading it late, too, and late and reading don't go well for me. Because then you have to think, and I wasn't into that, um, for that deep of reading. John, Jonathan says, uh, hey, why did you select Keech's Catechism rather than WSC or Heidelberg Baptist? I guess why not Piper's updated version? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, Piper's would be copyrighted. Yeah, Keech's is in the public domain. So as well, so is Westminster and Heidelberg. Um, Keech's, I was reading about Keech. Didn't know he had a catechism until I was reading about him and uh, didn't know much about it. So thought, why not go through and draw it? And in hindsight, I'm thinking I probably should have done the Westminster because that's probably a little more popular. Um, more people read that one. Uh, but I think Keech's is still it's still good. I well, think I think there are some better ones, but Keech's is good. And a lot of these images I can reuse, and I'll probably reuse them and put them into Westminster, um, possibly Heidelberg, as well. I'm not sure. Um, but I will also have some different illustrations for different parts of those. Uh, particularly the baptism parts. <laughs> and they do have some different questions in them as well. Well, this one has a lot of the same questions that Westminster had. This is the Baptist Catechism. Yep. Give them a fedora. They're going to be. Shaking hands. Making a. Solid deal. Maybe one of these guys is going to be holding a contract. A little paper that says contract on it. Like they just. Um. Entered a lawful deal. And then the next one, what is, uh, what's the next one? Not required, but what is oh. frowned upon? <laughs> what is, what is it speaking against or whatever? Condemned? It's going to be a guy like robbing a bank. Oh. So. You say robbing the bank and I think Joker. 
Yeah, Mr. Monopoly. Mr. Monopoly, kind of. Lucas Rocha Xavier says, Muito legal. That means very cool. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Google. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Going for the uh, nineteen thirties kind of feel here. These guys. rearrange some of this stuff over here. Uh, I wish I could show them spitting on their hands and then shaking. That's mm. like that's like makes it set in stone. Having you don't need you don't need a contract if you do that. Right? Cut your hands, blood. Hands. <laughs> blood, blood. <laughs> Make them a little taller. And then we'll do like a spot. Color there. Bring it down. Oh. 
don't know, maybe having like a like some dollar signs right here. Ding, ding. <laughs> I feel uh-huh. like that might be weird. Samson says, funny picture. <laughs> you guys did us this up town the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Maybe one guy could say, happy doing, pleasure doing business with you. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, character. Auto. That's why. Now for the inks, which is really just a fancy way of saying the black lines. <laughs> Use this brush up here and color black. Oh, there's that line skipping. Hmm, for sure. Is that a little choppy for you on that screen, Facebook, YouTube? It looks a little choppy when I'm doing that. It's weird. Oh, no. What if I take that off, add to screen. Still a little bit, I'll try it. That's what happens.
Who's that? Brian says 188 in case you ask. Oh, good, Brian. Good, good. Oh, Congratulations. Nice. Very good. Getting down there. We won't recognize you next time we see you at G3. <laughs> right. <laughs> Looks like Michigan's um, stay-at-home order is now through May 28th. Wow. The governor's just trying to one-up everybody. We all be at the same conference. The what? The lunch break. Can you sing? Asks. I I don't know what that is. I don't either. Oh, Brian says funny you should say that. A friend I haven't seen in a couple of months didn't recognize me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Oh man. That's uh, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> If you're trying to lose lose weight, it's a, a good sign. I mean, something's working. Yeah, I was going to say you're doing, doing something right. That's good. That's for sure. That's good. We get a conference called Say in Nashville. Um, Jonathan? No. Says, uh, you make this look effortless. It's a lot of talent. Sir. Uh. Thanks. A lot of years of practice to uh, make it look effortless. When is this conference? Which conference? This, you said have, sing or are something? Are people even getting together? Where are the people at? I am there. It's probably online. <laughs> ah, ah, we've been doing their online. Not Well, we missed the last two Tuesdays. But we've been very much, when we can hop on, we very much enjoy their uh, the getting thing that they do on the yeah, yeah. Tuesday evenings. We love watching the kids. <laughs> Our kids like watching the kids. Yeah. <laughs> End of August this year. Okay. We'll have to look into that. Let me write that down. Is it just with the Gettys, or is it a bunch of different um, singers? I was going to say artists, but you're drawing, and that might sound funny. <laughs> okay. I forget, I don't usually have a second device in here. But for now, since we do, I can move it to that. So, oh, seven grace and chain and chain. Concluded that this skipping that the, this pen is doing, I think it's probably the driver for this device and not the pen because it was doing the same thing on the other pen that I was trying to use. And it does it 
it's not the program because it does it in all my other programs as well, drawing programs. So I'm thinking I might have to downgrade to a previous um, Wacom driver. So Brian says Matt Papa. I wonder if that's another singing group. I've never heard of him. I don't know. Um, and then the lunch break, Kim Sing says it is. It's big. This is the fourth year they've had it. Hmm. Okay. Guess I'm not all that into singing. <laughs> just is it? Well, I can look it up, but I just wonder: is it like family friendly? Like, I mean, entire families go, or it's rated R. Well, <laughs> uh -huh. Matt Boswell also. Never heard of that one either. Here, I have it up here. Let's see. August 31st to September 2nd. Conference for pastors, leaders, and musicians on encouraging and reforming congregational worship. Okay. I'm none of those. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's not for me. Yeah. But we now have connections in Tennessee. Oh, yes. The list goes on. Tim Challenge, Page, Benjamin Brown, Stephen Chris Chapman, City of Life, Travis Control, Nancy, Nancy Daphne. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you go. This must be huge. I don't, I haven't stopped scrolling. <laughs> Oh, Richard, he looks fine. Oh. Uh, yes, it's a Christian concert conference. Personally, I think y'all would do well out there. Are many vendors. Hmm. Okay. Oh, vending, though. <laughs> From what um, you've looked into, that is an arm and a leg. Yeah. Like, insane. Well, at least yeah. for a couple of the conferences you've been... Um, or something small like us, it wouldn't really, I don't know that it would be worth it. You'd have to have things to sell. I know. <laughs> like, All the stuff uh, I have on the store, or most of the stuff I have on the store is through, um, through third-party print-on-demand company. It prints all the shirts and all the prints. So that would be pretty expensive to just buy a bunch of that stuff and bring it out there to sell while also spending probably like twenty five hundred on a booth. Today is Thursday, we forgot our class. Oh whoops. I was did we get a Zoom thing to do? I didn't get an email about okay. it. Okay. I don't okay. remember getting one at least. Okay. Oops. No. Oops. We were out getting ice cream. <laughs> Oh, that Brian says that looks like Goma Pile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what he looks like. Gomer. Gomer what Pyle. show is that in? Uh, Gomer Pile. Yeah. Nickelodeon. Or what? Nickelodeon. Well, I used to watch it on. What show? I said, not channel. No, yeah, no, I think it's called. Wait, it's been a while. It's been like. 15 years since I've seen it. Hang on. I don't know that I've ever seen it. I know the name. I just don't know who it is. Let's 
Sounds like a hillbilly. Here. Is it like a hillbilly or something? Yes, it was called Gomer Pyle. Look, you'll maybe you'll know what it's not. Like, I think I used to watch it on like the Nick at Night. You don't know that face? No. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm deprived. Mm. <laughs> Andy Andy Griffith Show. Says, show. Andy Griffith Show. His name is Jim Neighbors. <laughs> Oh, okay. I wouldn't have known that. Hmm. I'm lost. I never watched the Andy Griffith show either. The reruns. <laughs> I remember. I know the theme song because I've heard mm -hmm. it so many times. The, the whistling thing. I watched I watched that often too. Not like religiously, but if it was on, I'd, <clears throat> I'd watch that. And, um, the only old... The, that I have. the main older show that I like to watch was The Munsters. The Dick Van Dyke show? Did you ever watch? No, not until. Not until you married me. We got married and <laughs> we bought that fifty disc set. <laughs> it was on sale. <laughs> I still don't think we watched. We haven't. The whole thing. We haven't. No. I think I love. Those shows. That, that was, Just yeah. Just Van Dyke in general. Like anything. From that what seen. we watched, that was pretty good. So that's good, Paul. Running hmm. upside down. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. You think I'm joking? 
<laughs> or did you not write it upside down? No, I did write it upside down. Okay, that's what I thought. I only looked up to see you writing like your A and your C. I kind of had a sketch underneath, but do you I didn't realize that. Do you think of... I wasn't really following it very well. Do you think of letters as pictures? Like, is that what helps you, like... Sometimes, I guess. Maybe. Draw it upside down or backwards? Or yeah. Whatever. Sure, we'll go with that. Can you draw with your left hand? Let's find let's out. See what, let's see what you got. Yeah. <laughs> it turns into stick figures. <laughs> I'm trying to draw this guy here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. If you're drawing from your shoulder anyway, like, well, that's not bad, Paul. It's just a little wobbly. Yeah. A little muscle memory, a little control here and there. I think you, Paul, you almost have it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I probably could. Because you know what you want it to look like in your head. Yeah. You know, knowing that that's, I don't think, like for any normal person, I would say, no, that's not your left hand, if you were right-handed. <laughs> like for you, you can kind yeah, of that was with my left hand, but if I did it with my right hand, I could do it so much faster if my pen would work. Left hand, upside down letter. Brian just challenged you, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, you do. So you really, you really have been practicing with your left hand. Yes. Just in case I lose my right hand, I have to practice. Come on. Better <laughs> <laughs> dance is better than I can do with my right. <laughs> well, I know. Well, I wonder. <clears throat> All right, left hand. Left hand <laughs> words upside down. Here, I'll do contract. C O N T R A. <laughs> C, T. Wow. There you wow. go. Wow. That's something. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> <laughs> I could do this all night. That is, that is very funny. I feel like I'm being tortured. Well, do you feel like, <laughs> like your brain is kind of telling your hand what to do? If you can just train your other hand to move, yeah, you would have it. Yeah, I'll turn. I can just turn on the stabilizer in this program too, and it'll it's kind like, of help me draw a straighter line. It's like mind over matter, manner, matter, matter, mind over matter. Oh, Paul. Oh, well, I could help you with the circles. And then, left hand. Oh, <laughs> well. Let's try that again. Let's do that with the right hand here. So if you lose okay. your hand, you won't lose your job. Well, Maybe. that's the idea. <laughs> what are you planning? I'm not. Uh, no. You're prepared. But if you're going to be doing more and more building projects using a saw, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Brian says, do it again with proper typographic characteristic. Proper <laughs> typographic <laughs> characteristics. What does that even mean? Well, you mean like, like the Roman numeral? You mean like serif? Like serif sans or sans serif? serif? And... All right, let's try procuring. writing something. <laughs> what? G, like, write procuring. Procuring? Well, because it's already spelled for you on there. Where? Well, Look down. In, in... Oh. <laughs> Procuring? Because the G would be kind of hard. Oh, sure. For me. Um, capital letters or what? <laughs> what are we doing no, here? No, no. All right, no, so no I'm going to draw with my left hand. I'm going to write something upside down. Am I supposed to do? And backwards. And backwards. Okay. Let's find out here. And, so uh, how much lower, do? Lower how case? Much? How much time have you spent practicing this? Lowercase. <laughs> Is that your question? I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Not a lot. I, I couldn't hardly draw a straight line with my left hand, I don't think. Very I'm not even gonna look at this. I'm not looking. Leading letter height, <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. etc. <laughs> oh, I'm at the wrong angle. I can't see anything, huh? You'll see it when it's done. Mm. Left-handed drawing, writing. I mean, is your right hand tense? Like, yes, you look it like is. You're like... <laughs> I feel like I'm grabbing onto a stress ball with my right hand. <laughs> uh, we interrupt this. I don't know. Wait, did oh, I do that backwards? Yeah, yes. Ah, uh, that's the only one. The G. I thought got it would be kind of tough. Not bad. I say, I'd say you pass. Oh. It goes like that, right? Good enough. There we go. I'd Procuring you, upside you, down. I'd say you get to keep your job. Let's find out. <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. That's funny. Looks like I was being tortured and forced to write something. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Aaron Visser says, I just bought the Theology Wars poster. So excited. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Speaking of. Speaking of. Want to do an intermission after your intermission? Sure. We got this <laughs> shirt. This shirt. Theology Wars. It's available right now in the Reftoon store. I'm trying to show the camera for Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I think we're all right. All right. We're good. Yep. You can go to available at reftoons.myshopify.com. Easier to read than a captcha. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. That would be um, a new job creating those. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done, Master Cox. Brian says. Thank you. I just realized that uh, Facebook wasn't even seeing the shirt. <laughs> so oh, that's available. Oh. That's available at the, the link right there. Theology Wars, featuring a bunch of Reformation people. Uh, there we go. So that was a fun little experiment. Drawing left-handed. No, uh, I need to. Just shows I need to practice more. <laughs> uh, yeah, there. Nice. Yeah, you see the camera now. I think. You said Facebook didn't show the camera. Oh, Here, I'll get I'll get a better better view of that. Theology Wars. Ah, <laughs> return of the Gospel. <laughs> okay. So this one's done. Done with all this left-handed stuff. What do we have next? Hmm. Did you tell them what Harper did today? What did Harper do today? Looking out your window. Oh, yeah. Harper came to tell me something. And then she was looking out my window towards the backyard. My window faces the backyard. And she's like, oh, Dad, Dad, yuck, yuck. <laughs> That's what she says for look. And uh, so I looked. Oh, I looked, and out the back window was um, a turkey. Just walking around. She's like, Dad, look at the big bird in our backyard. <laughs> I said, where? I was looking under the maple tree. Didn't see anything. And then I looked further back, and there was a turkey walking around in our yard. So the kids ran out to try and feed it. <laughs> Bring it in with our chickens. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know if our chickens would like that. But we've seen it. We came home one day. I don't know what were we doing. We were probably in Menards. <laughs> grocery shopping. I don't know. Grocery shopping at Menards. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you can't have them. No. Well, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But it was walking around uh, across the street at our neighbor's house. Yeah. And then the other day we went out for a walk and it was. <laughs> around the corner at a different neighbor's house. It's our neighborhood turkey. And then finally it was in our backyard and the kids were just so excited. Well, I was excited. We don't see turkeys around here. We're in the middle of the city. But back there too, where the turkey was, the Donovan had gone out to feed the chickens. Or no, or just let him out or something one morning. Yeah. And uh, he saw a deer. Just in our backyard. backyard. And there's wooded space. It's the church's kind of prayer walk or whatever back there but I, a deer i mean everything else is like house next to house next to house it was just weird oh we went down to the lake a couple days ago oh yeah fish were jumping all the, out of the water that was fun that was cool probably because they just treated it with chemicals well there was one <laughs> dead one that came out <laughs> but, um, that was big too mm-hmm But then you go to like the parks and stuff where you would think that you'd see those and you see nothing. Right. <laughs> Just stay home, man. That's where the action's at. Wild turkeys, deer, man. Cat, feral cats. Feral cats. <laughs> feral cats. Isn't that strange? Isn't that what that means? Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm probably who knows. Oh, well, I have to do that. <laughs> the animals are coming out because no humans are out. Right. Where'd everybody go? Is this yes, yes, it is. Like the Walking Dead. Yeah, an unowned domestic cat that lives outdoors and avoids human contact. Avoids human contact. Does not allow itself to be under the touch. Thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> And they also spelled it wrong. That is wonderful. Do you spell it wrong? Mm-hmm. I spell everything wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why I married you. You laugh, but it's true. Who <laughs> are you? <laughs> T R E W. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be funny if that's how that was spelled? You probably wouldn't think it's funny if. That's how it was spelled. It would be normal.
Wrong one. We got too many labels over here. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to take off the banner that was up down here. It's mm. turning on the other ones. It said live art mentor critique. <laughs> so my friend says you're really rocking those white pants. Or oh, this is a thing. Those are my legs. <laughs> not yeah. only my I can say this because I'm very very white. But we were riding behind a motorcyclist in the evening, like when it was dark. And he couldn't see anything because he was wearing a black helmet, black jacket, black motorcycle. You could see like the stop light on his machine. It was a moped. Well, oh, well, whatever it was. But then you get up to where your lights hit him and his legs were like so... Mm -hmm. They were like reflectors. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hasn't seen the sun in a while. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Another one that's the best. Okay, ink that's left handed. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm. Here we go. Left handed here. Nope. Not yet. The world's not ready for that yet. Mm. You try. You try. Do you think my personality would change if I became left-handed? Yeah, I think a little bit. I think you would have to be a little bit more funny because humor is what's going to get you through the hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it would change? No. Do you think you would be more like... I just wonder if there's a personality difference. left-handed people? Of left-handed people, if there's like a specific left-handed personality, yeah. like they get angry at Type a. spiral bound notebooks, um, or <laughs> something. I don't know. Because everything is built for the right right-handed person. Yeah, right. <laughs> Guitarists, unless they're. Why is the shifter in the middle? Hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, did you say who's coming in on Monday? We are going to be living with. Oh, yeah. We'll be going live with Cedric Honestat on Monday. He's a cartoonist who does a lot of awesome stuff. Like really awesome stuff. Yeah. He's really, really good. Yeah, so you have to tune in on Facebook and YouTube. For that. Brian says most left handed people. Most. I would think with as tense as you were holding your right hand, if you really had to draw with your left hand, like to save your job, I would think that you would probably be a little bit more uptight. Until you could kind of work those muscles in your brain, in your arm. Do you think I would be? Yeah. I think. Probably be on edge well, all I the time. More, more update, you're probably the calmest person I know. So to be any bit <sighs> tense is weird, you know? Yeah. The 
think maybe I rubbed off on you. What? A little too uptight. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, but do you think if your body was that tense all the time, you do you think it would affect you mentally? Yeah, definitely. Like trying to. I think I'd be irritated all the time. There's <laughs> that tense. <sighs> I have a feeling like about it's, four minutes. Left. Oh, I was just gonna say I have a feeling like you're coming up on like two minutes here for Instagram. Oh yeah, it might be like three minutes because I started the Facebook and YouTube one a little bit after you started the Instagram. Do you know not like if you were drawing? On paper, you wouldn't have to worry about saving your work. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That was even, that was me. That wasn't even Brian. Brian. Yeah. (laughs) But you saved the other stuff, right? I mean, you kind of had to. Yeah, I did. To change. Okay. Phew. No, I didn't have to to change. Okay. But it did. What did I ask? You were going to. I don't know. Talking about time, how much more time we have left here. Yeah, and then I was going to say something, and then I don't know. Hmm. But the control Z is more precious. Hey, Google Project says. Yes. When you're when you're working with them. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You're working with pencils. You don't have the control Z button. Oh, that's right. I was going to say something about your drawing. Regular. This is there he is. Save your work. <laughs> Save. Okay, a minute fifty remaining. All right. So Monday you'll be back at eight o'clock. Yep, Monday at eight. CST on Central Time. Facebook and YouTube is where you're going to see the the main part. If you're on Instagram, you'll probably only hear it. And while you see me drawing, you'll only hear the interview. So you can't do it. it doesn't do the split screen. Oh, he won't be on Instagram. No, I didn't ask him if okay. he wanted to do that. Okay. I didn't want to make it too difficult. So I'm trying out this new program on uh, on the computer it's called Streamyard where we can both be working on something at the same time. So he's going to be working on some cartoons, and I'm going to be working on something as well. Um, And I think both of our screens are going to be able to be shared at the same time on there. Um, And again, one last time, the shirt that you were wearing, the Star Wars shirt, will be available until Saturday or through Saturday? Through Saturday. At yeah. Rough Tunes. So this will be available through, oh no, through Friday. Through Friday at RoughTunes.MyShopify.com. Um, there it is. Thanks for joining, Jonathan. He says, cool, thanks for sharing. It's really cool to watch in real time. Good to see you, and thanks for, thanks for joining. <clears throat> Oops. Good night. All right, yeah, I guess that's good night. All right. Have a good night, everyone. See you next time.